Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Bulkham. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Space Marine helmet. If you'd like to support us, our Coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Now on to the video. So the first colour we're using is the my fist on red. I'm going to use this to paint the entire helmet with this colour. Now this pen on which chapter you're doing depends on the, obviously the colour of the helmet or if you're just doing the sergeant's helm with the red then that's pretty much what this video is. So you want to make sure you get that smooth base layer down. Ready for we start adding the shades and then obviously the layers and the highlights. So the lenses for this, I'm going to be using Citadel Araman Blue. This guy is being painted up for an Imperial Fist video. I thought the lenses would go blue with the rest of them. Like so. Final base layer is going to be Vallejo Model Air Chrome. But whichever metallic you usually use for the little tubes on the side of the helm, that is fine to use. I just usually go with the Model Air Chrome for Loyalist Space Marines. Now with the shades, we're going to shade the helm with Citadel Drucci Violet. So you want to avoid getting the Drucci Violet into those Model Air Chrome or Araman Blue sections. If you do get any in the lenses or on the piping, just, just dry off the brush and use that to absorb the shade off the area that you don't want it. If you don't want to dry off the brush that you're using, just use another one that you've got for the same process. So now I'm going to use Citadel Nuln Oil. I'm just going to use some of that to do the two pipes. So very quick on this. Just lash some of that on there, and then on the other side too. Final shade is going to be Citadel Drachenhof Nightshade. We're going to use this to go over the Araman Blue on the eye lenses. Again, if you put too much on or you get it somewhere you don't want it, just use the dry brush to absorb that. Now back to the Mephisto on red. I'm going to start reapplying this, and you want to be leaving the Drucci Violet in the recesses, so down the sides of the kind of vent or the intake on the top of the helm there. You want to leave the shade going down the sides of that and in that recess there, then in the recesses and around all the details on the helm. So the main areas to be careful of and be very, very careful when you're doing them is the vent on the front of the helm. You've also got the, like the audio pieces over the ears just be careful when you're doing those. What I usually do is do the top of the helm, the ridge down the top, and the sides there with a medium layer brush or a small layer brush. And then to do these front parts, I will use a Army Painter Wargamer character brush because it's a lot finer. And that allows you to pick out the details without too much risk of blobbing on the colour and going into the details with that and taking the shade out of the recesses. Doesn't mean it won't happen, but it just means you're probably going to blob less on there, as you'll see when I'm doing the last highlight for the helm. Like so. Next up, we're going to be using some Citadel Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm just going to paint this around the top of the helm, so you think about where the light's going to be catching it. So we're going to be doing this highlight along the top of the helm, the top of the ridge, and then stopping on those areas where you obviously you've got the shade in the recesses, and areas where there's going to be less light. So the reason to do this is so that you've got the nice three shades on the helm. I don't tend to put a highlight on the lip that comes out over the lenses, as that wouldn't really catch too much light. So I don't have the medium 
highlight going all the way down to the bottom just above the eyes. If you want to do that you can do and then you can put that highlight on the edge of that. Or if you'd like to see a video of how the usual edge highlighting is done for the Space Marines where it's along every edge just sing out and I can do a video for that no problem. But again you want to be carefully applying this over the vents on the front and also over those audio sections on the sides. And not to forget these edge pieces at the back. Like so. Now we're going to be using Citadel Wild Rider Red and we're going to use this to do the edge highlights on all the red sections. So using an Army Painter Wargamer character brush again, you're just going to gently put that around each of the lenses and underneath each of the little vents. And just pick out any edges where the light will be catching it. I do quite like this as a highlight, it does make it stand out really, really well. It's a nice final highlight, even when you blob on a little bit too much of it, like on that little section there. So I'm just using a little bit of my fist on red there, just to touch it up, so that you don't have quite that bright spot on that final edge piece that I was doing. Going along the edges of that ridge at the top too, across the ridge on the front. Back onto the other ridge under the islands and those little sections underneath the vents. Like so. I'm going to start returning to the eyes. We're going to use some Araman blue and just recolor those lenses. Like so. Gonna add a little bit of white to the Araman blue. We're just gonna highlight a sort of crescent from the back of the lens to about two thirds away along the lens. Leaving the shade around the bottom edge of it, and also leaving the plain Araman blue at the front of the lens. Now we're going to add a little bit more white to the previous mix. Just do a tiny little highlight on that little bit that we've just done. So about 50% of the area that you covered with the previous highlights we're doing on this one. The final colour we're going to use is Vallejo White. We're just going to do two spots, one on the front of each lens and then a tiny little spot or a little line of it on the back as the final highlight to those little highlights we've been doing on the lenses. Now when I put those spots on the front I wasn't too happy with them, they were slightly bigger than I wanted them to but I will also show you how to fix that, a really easy way of doing it. So now to fix that we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Drachenhof Nightshade we're just going to touch up underneath there, knocking the camera while I'm painting there. All you want to do is add a little bit around it, look at it. If you don't like the way it's turned out, add a little bit more. It's just a general touch up that you always do with freehanding. With that, you have the helm finished. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.
you like the channel, you enjoy the content, and you'd like to support us, our coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.